Welcome to the session on cloud computing and its application. In this session, we will talk about model number 2, chapter number 5. Name of the chapter is Anika Cloud Application Platform. So, what is Anika? Aneka is a Manjara Soft Private Limited solution for developing, deploying, and managing cloud applications. Aneka consists of a scalable cloud middleware that can be deployed on top of heterogeneous computing resources. Heterogeneous computing refers to system that use more than one kind of processor or cores. These system gain performance or energy efficiency not just by adding the same type of processors but by adding dissimilar coprocessors usually incorporating specialized processing processing capabilities to handle particular task if aneka offers an extensible collection of services coordinating the execution of applications helping administrators monitor the status of the cloud and providing integration with existing cloud technologies. Aneka's key advantage is its extensible set of application programming interface that is APIs associated with different type of programming models such as task, thread, and MapReduce, which is used for developing distributed applications, integrating new capabilities into the cloud, and supporting it as platform for developing, deploying, and managing execution of applications on various types of clouds that is it might be a public cloud private cloud community cloud or hybrid cloud next we will see aneka framework overview aneka is a software platform for developing cloud computing applications it allows harnessing of desperate computing resources and managing them into a unique virtual domain the aneka cloud in which applications are executed according to the Cloud Computing Reference Model Aneka is a pure platform as a service solution for cloud computing. Aneka is a cloud middleware product that can be deployed on a heterogeneous set of resources such as a network of computers, multi-core servers, data centers, virtual cloud infrastructure or mixture of all these. The framework provides both middleware for managing and scaling distributed application and extensible set of APIs for developing them. Here the diagram 
shows the aneka capabilities at a glance so in our coming slides we will talk about the aneka framework in detail and we will see what are the different features of this aneka product and we will uh, looking into each and every features in detail aneka framework overview the core infrastructure of aneka system provides a uniform layer that allows the framework to be deployed over different platforms and operating system the physical and virtual resources representing the bare metal of the cloud are managed by the aneka container which is installed on each node and constitute the basic building blocks of the middleware so in our coming slides we will be talking about this aneka container where there are n number of features of this aneka container and we will be looking into it in detail a collection of interconnected containers constitutes the aneka cloud a single domain in which services are made available to users and developers the, the container features three different class of services first one is fabric service second one is foundation service and third one is execution service these take care of infrastructure management supporting services for the aneka cloud and application management and execution respectively this is a diagram showing aneka framework overview as i told you in the diagram you can see there is something called as aneka middle uh, uh, sorry aneka middleware that is middleware container where they have given three different types of services that is execution service foundation service fabric service below that we have something called as pal which stands for platform abstraction layer below that we have infrastructure which is which is of type heterogeneous so we will be looking out of all these services in detail one by one in our coming slides aneka services here we i'll be touching out general services what aneka framework provides first one is elasticity and scaling second one is run time management and third one is resource management starting with elasticity and scaling by the means of the dynamic provisioning services aneka supports dynamic dynamically upscaling and downscaling of infrastructure available for application the runtime management machinery is responsible for keeping the infrastructure up and running and serves as a hosting environment for services it is primarily represented by the container and a collection of services that manage service membership and look up infrastructure maintenance and profiling third one is resource management aneka is an elastic infrastructure in which resources are added and removed dynamically according to the application needs 
and user requirements to provide quality of service based execution the system not only allows dynamic provisioning but also provides capabilities for reserving nodes for execution sorry for exclusive use by specific applications some more services of aneka framework is application management user management and quality of service sla management and billing application management specific subset of services is devoted to managing applications these services include scheduling execution monitoring and storage management user management aneka is a multi tenant distributed environment in which multiple applications potentially belonging to different users are executed the framework provides an extensible user system via which it is possible to define users groups and permissions the services devoted to user management build up the security infrastructure of the system and constitutes a fundamental element for accounting management the last one is quality of service slash sla management and billing within a cloud environment application execution is metered and built aneka provides a collection of services that coordinate together to take into account the usage of resources by each application and to build the owning user accordingly next we will study detail about the aneka container that is anatomy of aneka container aneka container constitutes the building block of aneka clouds and represents the runtime machinery available to service services and applications the container is the unit of deployment in aneka clouds and it is a lightweight software layer designed to host services and interact with the underlying operating system and hardware the main role of the container is to provide a lightweight environment where to deploy services and some basic services such as communication channels for interaction with the other nodes in a aneka cloud almost all operations performed within aneka are carried out by the services managed by the container the services installed in the aneka container can be classified into three major categories that is fabric service foundation service application service the service stack residing on top of platform abstraction layer that is pan representing the interface to the underlying operating system and the hardware so this 
Pan provides a uniform view of the software and the hardware environment in which the container is running. Persistence and security travels all the service stack to provide as secure and reliable from the ground up that means we will start from the platform abstraction layer the core of the system is based on dotnet technology and allows the anika container to be portable over different platforms and operating systems any platform Featuring an ECMA 334 and ECMA 335 compatibility environment can host and run an instance of Aneka container. Each operating system has a different organization of file system and stores that information differently. PAL that is platform abstraction layer addresses this heterogeneity and provides the container with a uniform interface for accessing the relevant hardware and operating system information thus allowing the rest of the container to run unmodified on any platform any platform supported. PAL is responsible for detecting the supported hosting environment and providing the corresponding implementation to interact with it to support the activity of the container. It provides the following features. First one is uniform and platform independent implementation interface for accessing the hosting platform uniform access to extended and additional properties of hosting platform third one is uniform and platform independent access to remote nodes and fourth one is uniform and platform independent management interface so these are the four unique features of this platform abstraction layer. Platform abstraction layer is a small layer of software that comprises a detection engine which automatically configures the container at the boot time with the platform specific component to access the above information and implementation of abstraction layer for the windows the collectable data that are exposed by the platform abstraction layer are the following that is number of cores frequency and CPU usage what is a core here a core contains an ALU arithmetical logical unit control unit and registers it is common for computers to have two or four or even more cores CPUs with multiple cores have more power to run multiple programs at the same time. However, doubling the numbers of cores will not simply double a computer speed. Next point is memory size and usage. Fourth one is aggregates available disk space. And last one is network addresses and devices attached to the node these are the data that PAL 
exposes. Moreover, additional customer information can also be retrieved by querying the uh, uh, querying the uh, proprietary's hardware. For example, these proprietary's properties can contain additional information about the processors such as the model and the family or additional data about the process running the container so in our coming uh, uh, lecture or coming session we will talk three different types of services that is fabric service then foundation service and application service so in this session we have given the overview of what is aneka and we have given the aneka framework overview what are its features all those things thank you